Hello, 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 hello family. Uh, welcome back to my channel in Concept Interior Studio. This is another day that the Lord has given us. We give him glory and praise. Uh, we have woken up. We can see the new day. So, as you all know, I stepped out of Nebohanse for a few days. I'm here in Nairobi City. Uh, I came to check on a few things. Uh, still for the project at I am Marwa, there are a few lightings that we need to collect that have just landed from China. We are going to collect the light to finish up the the lighting for the apart for the for the villa at I am Marwa. So thank you very much for joining me. If you're watching this video, guys, please stay tuned. <coughs> uh, today I just decided to give you a, a tour of uh, some parts of Nairobi City. As you can see, we are along Thika Road. Uh, right now, I'm headed to one of my sites. Uh, so stay tuned. Stay with me, guys. I just want to go and see what my guys have been doing while I was away. As I told you before, we have other projects ongoing in Nairobi City. Uh, we have other projects uh, in different counties. But uh, I'll show you this particular one. It's a small project. It's not a big one. Uh, we have uh, two units of uh, three bedroom each. It's an apartment. And guys, uh, the apartments are for sale. You'll have a look at them. It's a three bedroom unit. Uh, just in case you are out there in diaspora and you'd like to invest back at home, if you're a Kenyan, even if you're a foreigner, uh, please contact me. Uh, the apartments are for sale. So uh, one of my clients bought the apartments and uh, he thought they were too plain and uh, he thought maybe he could give it a facelift so we decided to to do some a bit of decoration a bit of gypsum ceiling paintwork and uh, here and there and we are also going to furnish the apartment guys so when we get there please uh, have a look at the apartment at its current state continue watching my videos i will show you how we are going to furnish that apartment guys so uh, as I told you before, we also have a, a furniture line that we are trying to develop. It's already in progress. Uh, we have already started uh, producing furniture, uh, but we are yet we are still working on it. We want to do exclusive furniture, high end. So just watch this channel, guys. I will be showing you how we do that. Also, um, as we continue working at Aya Marwa. There are some piece of furniture that we'll also provide at Ayamaro. So, guys, just keep on watching this channel. So, we are on Thika Road. Uh, this is uh, Pangani. There's a bit of jam. Uh, it's morning. It's morning hours, and the guys are rushing to go to work. So, this is the notorious jam of Nairobi. The notorious Thika Road jam. So, if you come to Nairobi and you are and you want to go to town, please make sure you leave very early in the morning or leave after 11. That's when the jam, uh, that's when there is no jam. So family, continue Karo. watching this channel. Please give our videos a, a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, share, like, and also comment. Uh, I have a big surprise, guys, for you coming. We have a very big surprise. Continue watching this channel. We are going to reveal to you a big surprise on this channel concerning our job. So uh, as you go with me, we are still along Thika Road. Uh, I told you I'm going to one of the leafy suburbs of Nairobi. Uh, just just drive with me, guys. Don't get tired. Drive with me. We are still in the jam. But I know we are going to get there. I'm going to show you one of our projects. You see what we are doing there. So this is... Uh, we are right now in Pangani. Pangani is... a. Um, it's a middle class. Uh, you can see we have some flats, very nice apartments coming up. And uh, right now we are going. Uh, <coughs> we are going to join uh, from Thika Road. We are going to join a road called Wangare Mathai. Wangare Mathai Road. I'll show you. Wangare Mathai Road is named after one of our heroes. Uh, she's a Nobel Peace Nobel Peace Prize winner. She was uh, she was fighting against uh, uh, the destruction of forest, cutting of trees, and environmental cons conservation. She's of one of our heroes. So we named this. Uh, the road was named after her, Professor Wangari Mathai Road. Uh, so we are here at the tunnel at Professor Wangari Mathai Road. 
initially we used to call it um, Forest Road. So I think Forest and Wangare Mathai. Wangare Mathai was uh, too passionate about uh, uh, the afforestation and uh, advocating for uh, people not to cut trees. So that's why we named the, na the road was named after her. So we are on Wangare Mathai Road. Uh, from afar, you can see the tallest building in Nairobi. Uh, it's it hosts J W. It it holds uh, is it J W Marriott Hotel? Yeah, yeah, J W uh, Marriott Hotels. It's one of the tallest buildings. So we are in Westlands right now. As you can see, there's Oracle building there. After Araco, we have a, 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 a glass cube like building. It's called One Africa. It's a very green building, very modern. Uh, so, as we continue, we are on Wayaki Way. So, guys, just stay with me. Uh, I'll take you slowly. This is a, a city tour. City tour. You can see our matatus, they are very graphical. They are very graphical, one of the, mo the, the most beautiful matatus in East Africa. They have TV sets inside. There's a graffiti on the outside. They play loud music. So that is one of our matatu culture here. When you come to Nairobi, you will experience that. These are what we use for transportation from one town to another. <coughs> we call them... Uh, Matatus, Matatu. Okay, just there, we just passed the the expressway. That's where it begins, Westlands, Nairobi. That's our expressway. Just a very modern uh, means of transport. Uh, from Westlands to Mlolongo, it's around 15 minutes. It used to take us around uh, one hour, two hours because of the jump. But after the expressway, we can take uh, 15 minutes. We are on Red Hill Road now, Red Hill Link Road. So just follow me, guys. Uh, this is a city tour. Just taking you around Nairobi. Come with me. Uh, this is also a new road. It's a bypass uh, joining uh, Westlands area with uh, the other places called... Uh, when you're going to Gigiri, if you want to go to Two Rivers Mall, you want to go to... You want to go to a place called uh, Limuru Road or Red Hill Road. This is the road that links the two. So our government has really done a good job uh, in uh, building roads. You can see we have very nice roads, guys. Uh, those who are in diaspora or uh, in America, Kenya is very beautiful. This is how it looks. Uh, I'm told uh, uh, some people in America think that Kenyans, we, we live in uh, the villages. And when you walk on the streets, uh, people people are very uncivilized. But we have very posh estates here. Uh, right now we are joining Kirawa Road, just off uh, Red Hill Road. It, this is Kirawa Road. Kirawa Road, uh, it, it's going into the leafy suburbs of Kitisuru Estate. Uh, along this road is where you'll find some posh estates, uh, very, very, very high-end uh, homes. Uh, we have Kihingo Estate here. Very, very, very uh, expensive homes. Uh, so, uh, guys, I think this is Kihingo. Kihingo, Kihingo Village. I think it's called Kihingo Village. You will see the name. It's just written there on the gate, uh, just uh, ahead of us. So as we continue, guys, uh, don't get tired. Let me just take you through a city tour. Now we have left the town. We are in the suburbs. This is a... Uh, it's ki called Kihingo Village. Very posh houses here, guys. Africa is not a jungle. You can see how we have expensive homes. Uh, those are very expensive homes. Uh, just after Kihingo, we also have another estate... Also a very posh neighborhood. It's a very posh neighborhood. Actually, this neighborhood is... Uh, you'll find most people that live here are expatriates, international, uh, international uh, exp expatriates and uh, diplomats and such stuff. This one is called Magnolia Hills. It's another posh estate uh, that is here. 
just uh, immediately after Magnolia Hill, you will find our, uh, that is the uh, International School of Kenya, just ahead of me, that's the main gate, International School. You can see that is International School, very expensive school. Yeah, International School of Kenya. That is it, International, that's their main gate. So you can imagine if your kids are studying at international school, you must have a, you must have a good pocket for you to bring your child in this school. So we are almost getting to our site, guy. This is this area, the whole area we call it Kitisuru. That is the name of the estate in general. Uh, we also have another school. There's another school here. It's also an international school. It's called the School of Nations. School of Nations. So if you want to come to Kenya and stay in Kenya, we have uh, international schools here. Don't get, don't be worried where your kids will study. You can see we have posh estates here. That's an apartment, a very cool apartment over there. So guys, you are just getting to, we are almost getting to our site where we are going. I'm going to show you. It's just about a few few meters ahead of us. A few meters, we are almost there. So guys, stay with me. I'll show you the project that we are doing here. And uh, that's another apartment also. It's very posh, very exclusive, and uh, very modern. So this is where we are almost going to our project. It's, a, it's also an apartment. We have around 84 units. It's around 84 units in that apartment. There are three blocks, a seven story building each. So we are just going there. In a few minutes, we'll be arriving at our destination. We'll be arriving at our destination. Our apartment is this one, the gray one in color. We have three blocks, it's around eight, uh, four units in total. We have three bedrooms and two bedrooms. So guys, I'll show you the units. If you're interested and you want to invest in these apartments and you're in diaspora, uh, just give me a call, guys, or hit me up. I can link you up. You can invest. The guys who are buying these apartments, most of them are in diaspora and they are fetching good money. In, uh, they are renting them out. Some of them are Airbnbs. So guys, here is our site and welcome. So as I said before, guys, um, I, I left Nyabohanse. I stepped out to the city for a few days. But I'm going back just to finish up the final touch-ups for the Amaro building. So this is one of our projects that was ongoing while I was at Amaro. It's a three-bedroom apartment. It's uh, for one of our clients. They bought the apartment and uh, they felt that it's a little bit plain, so we wanted to just decorate it. Not, not doing much, but just decorate. We are doing some... A little bit of gypsum ceiling in the living room. Uh, we'll decorate the TV wall area, the dining wall, and also the uh, we paint the the unit. As you can see, we have already painted uh, the, the rooms. Uh, that color is uh, just a little bit off white. It's not white. It's a cool, subtle color. The client didn't want uh, too much color in the room, so we decided to use this shade of off-white. It's quite a very like, luxury color, guys. When you are doing a unit that is meant for public, this is a public unit. Uh, by public, I mean uh, the client wants to rent the house out. You can rent it. Uh, you can also... Uh, if it's not rented, he can also use it for uh, as an Airbnb. 
and uh, you can also rent it out and pay monthly basis. So when you're doing a public, this means that uh, many people will come to live in and uh, you know color, everybody has their own color scheme. So uh, what we try to do is try to come up with some neutral colors so that uh, when someone comes in as a client, uh, she doesn't come in into a red room and red is is worst color scheme. Uh, so each and everyone has their own color scheme. As we say in in design is that uh, our artistic language, you normally say uh, the beauty uh, lies in the eyes of the beholder. Uh, I look at a color, red, and say, wow, it's beautiful. Somebody else will look at it and say, oh, my God, what, what's that? So uh, we try to advise our clients when you're doing uh, spaces, public spaces, at least you need to use uh, neutral colors. Neutral colors, are, they're neutral. They're, 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 they're accepted, actually, by everyone. They are cool. They are subtle. They are not screaming. They are not busy. But they are very cool and also brings peace to your mind. When you walk into a room that is so colorful, it, it overworks your mind. But when you walk into a room that is so cool and, and, and it's not busy, it's not too colorful, it gives you peace. You can rest, you can meditate, you can, you can, you can pray, you can do all of sort of things, you can relax. But you can just walk in a space and you find it's just too colorful and uh, you wanted to rest and you feel so uh, you you are, you have you can't rest and uh, you just walk out of that place sometimes you walk into a place and you feel like oh, i just want to stay two minutes here and then i go do abcd then you walk in and you're like oh it's already two hours so it plays on your psychology color plays on your psychology uh, it, was, it, it has a positive impact and also has a negative impact on different in individuals. So guys, uh, if you watch my videos, we are going to teach you how to choose colors for different spaces, colors for uh, functional spaces. That is, uh, we have different color schemes for public spaces like a restaurant. Uh, that's a different kind of space. We have uh, different colors for the clubs. That's a different space. So uh, maybe I'll explain a bit. Uh, this is one of our bedroom in this uh, unit. Uh, what we've done here is uh, we've done some carving uh, on the on the ceiling between the ceiling and the wall. You can see we've done some. Uh, we call it here cornices, but some people call it carvings. So uh, that's the one of the bedrooms. As you can see, we have some dark shade of uh, brown tiles and uh, also dark shade of a uh, wardrobe, wardrobe cabinets. It really complements the color. It, it breaks the monotony of uh, uh, the white color. So that's uh, one of our bedrooms. Uh, from there, I'll take you to another bedroom. So we will go to... This, this is the corridor. This is the corridor, guys. As you can see, this is the corridor. Uh, the place is still under construction, so don't worry about the floor. It's a bit dusty, but we will clean it. This is uh, another bedroom, guys. Uh, as you can see, this is the master bedroom. It is master and suit. It has a bathroom inside. I'll show you the bathroom. And uh, those are the closets. We have uh, small space closets. That's our bathroom. You can see how the tiles are blending in very well with our color scheme. Uh, we have a toilet and a hand wash basin over there. That's our bathroom. This is how the bathroom looks, guys. We have a shaver. We have a ta hand, hand, wash, hand towel holder. We also have a, a big rack there to hold the bath, bathroom towel. So this is our master bedroom, guys. This is our master bedroom. Um, this is the shower area. We'll do a shower curtain on that road over there. Uh, you can see they, they've used some very nice stainless steel uh, shower head. It's a concealed shower system. So you can see, we call it concealed shower system. Uh, silver in color, uh, very, very sleek and looks expensive and neat. So from there, we'll go to our third bedroom. 
Uh, this is our laundry area. It's tiny. It's a little bit tiny, but our washing machine will be here. A washing machine, then we have a sink just to do some laundry and doby over there. And then uh, as we continue, you can also see the choice of tile that uh, was used here. It's uh, earthy colors, very warm colors. Earthy is vibrant and warm. Uh, it brings warmth into the room. So uh, we'll continue showing you this. Just stay with us as we explain what uh, is happening in this room. We have the sockets there for the washing machine. So uh, I'll take you to another room. This is the the toilet for the two bedroom. Remember, we have three bedroom in this house. Uh, the master bedroom is master in suit. The other two bedroom, they are sharing a toilet. Uh, we call it Jack and Jill toilet. Jack and Jill toilet is a toilet that is shared in between the two bathrooms. And again, uh, this is uh, because of the space. This is also the, 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 the visitor's toilet. This is the clock room. So it is used both by the, the guests in the, in the two bedrooms, for the family in the two bedrooms, and also the visitors that comes to visit the house. So we only have two toilets in this house. One is uh, in the master bedroom, and one is shared between the two bedrooms and also the guests. So uh, we walk in here. This is a pantry. You can see we have some uh, paint cans over there. We are still painting the area. So that's the pantry next or just opposite the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is how the kitchen looks like. Uh, it's a bit uh, dark shade of uh, wood. We have, they've used that. So uh, we have an island. That is the breakfast area. Uh, we have so, we'll have some stools on this side to create a breakfast area on the island. That space next there is the dining area. We have uh, uh, that's what we call the wainscoting on the wall, uh, just on the dining area wall. We decided to divide our ceiling into two so that it could uh, accommodate the it could separate the dining and the living area. Uh, as you have seen, uh, just above our island, we did uh, what we call uh, fluted panels. We used some flute panel, the brown in color. Then this is the, the gypsum ceiling. The gypsum ceiling, it's been painted. Uh, just a few touches here and there to complete. Also, the dining wall we have not completed. We'll do a special paint effect. Uh, that's the TV wall. That's where the TV will be. We have done the fluted panel on each side. Uh, we are going to do a marble effect or a marble panel on the center where the TV will be. Then down there we will do a cabinet, very, very, very long cabinet, close to 8 feet or 2.4 meters, running from the end of the panel to the end of the panel. It will be a TV cabinet. Then our TV will be mounted to the wall. So guys, stay tuned to this pro channel. We are going to show this project when it's complete. As I told you before, we are going to furnish this apartment. It's a furnished apartment. You can either rent it out as an Airbnb or you can rent it out uh, to pay monthly, monthly charges. So stay tuned uh, as we continue showing you our project. We are going to show you uh, when the finished product is done. So just stay tuned. Uh, we'll show you this apartment. It's in Kitusuru. So continue watching our videos. As we said before, our videos uh, will be teaching you a, f a few tips on how to do or de redecorate your house. As you can see, uh, the wall on the other side has already been painted, but the wall on the TV area is still in the... We still have, haven't painted. It only has the white color, which is the undercoat. Also, the, TV, the dining area, the wall is still having an undercoat, which is white in color. We are going to do a special paint effect there to the color scheme that we are going to choose for the client. Those are fluted panels that we did there at the, uh, at the kitchen area. Then uh, below them, we will have uh, pendant lighting hangings. We also decided to just uh, spice the corridor a bit with the fluted panel, brown in color, just to break the monotony of the white color, plain colors. So uh, as we continue, guys, just watch this uh, as we go on. We'll show you everything. 
uh, don't forget to come back and watch the second video part two of this video where i'll be showing you the finished apartment this is how the lobby looks like that's the lift uh, that's the lift lobby on this floor we have four units though those are already two units one on the right one on the left uh, when you go here there's the second two units so those are four units uh, you can see we have very clean corridors, very nice tiles. The color scheme is very, very nice. Uh, just keep watching. I'll show you this video to the end. Yeah, so uh, let's see what is happening here. We have a very beautiful scenery. We are on the sixth floor. This is the sixth floor. Just want to show you how it looks on the outside that's the neighborhood guy it's very green very green you can sit on the balcony and enjoy the view you can see actually the uh, wider part of nairobi when you are on your balcony guys you can enjoy the the balcony as you see we have a forest there you can enjoy the trees if you like greeneries if you like green areas you can enjoy the forest that's our balcony so uh, it has a balcony so uh, let's go let's go let's go i'll show you another i'll show you another part here so uh this is our apartment guys i think uh, i'll show you that's the corridor again let's let's go and see what is uh, above 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 us i think uh, I think I'll show you the the flat roof. We have a flat roof, guys, on this building. And then uh, on the flat roof, we have a very good scenery. You can see the whole of Nairobi. Just come with me, guys. This is how it looks. The stairs are very neat. We have the curtain walling windows on the stairs. <coughs> so this is our balcony uh, not a balcony actually it's uh, it's the rooftop so on the rooftop uh we have some cloth hanging lines over there you can hang your clothes on the rooftop you can hang your clothes there we have an outdoor outdoor chair and a table you can also be served some drinks and a meal you can sit there and it, this is a public space anyone can use it we also have a bench here, you can sit here, relax, read a book. We have another table on the far end with an umbrella. If the sun is too hot, you can spread the umbrella and enjoy the breeze. The very nice breeze on top here. And you can also enjoy the scenery of Nairobi City. You can enjoy the scenery, the scenery above the building. It's so stunning, guys, you can see. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing. This is a public space, guys, on the roof. You can use it. Anybody can use this space as long as you are living in the, in the apartment. So one thing I didn't tell you about this apartment is uh, we, we, have, uh, we have three bedroom apartments and we also have two bedroom apartments. And uh, we have, uh, there's a swimming pool. There's a swimming pool. <coughs> then there's a we also have a playground play, for the kids. Playground for the, some swings and slides, and uh, uh, that's a place for entertainment for the kids. There's a field for the kids. Uh, we have a gym. There's a fully equipped gym on this uh, uh, the, in the project. So guys, uh, uh, to, uh, on top of that, this is our uh, another unit that we are doing just wanted to show you this unit also it's uh, coming up well this is our second unit as I told you we are doing two units here both of them are three bedrooms this is our framework that we've done for the gypsum ceiling so we are waiting for for just to cover the board I would also want to show you how we do the curves on the on the gypsum guys I told you gypsum is very flexible as you can see we have we have we have done a carving here when you want to do a curve you just need to cut the cut the steel into small small bits and then you can fold it 
when you fold it it brings you it gives you that curve you can fold it nicely you can draw the line round and then do the just put the, the the steel following that line and then you do the gypsum this is the kitchen for the same area and uh, this particular unit guys uh, you've seen the kitchen is a little bit uh, dark the client wants it uh, in in white so we're going to change the those cabinets you will change we'll just do the we'll change the doors and change them into white so uh, they are dark he doesn't like the dark color so we are going to change them to white so this unit is just uh, a replica of the one i showed you earlier it's also three bedroom uh, with the master and suit so we are also doing the we have we'll paint the unit we have done the carving which is the cornice on top between the ceiling and the wall and then we are going to furnish uh, this apartment so all these units are they are all furnished they are furnished apartment and they'll be for rental and airbnb so if you want to rent a unit you want an airbnb guys you can get in touch we can connect you to the owners and then uh, if you're renting and also the units are uh, we have more units for sale just in case you want to buy a unit in this apartment we have more units for sale as i told you there are 84 units and we are still selling so we have more units for sale if you're interested please get in touch i'll, con I'll hook you up with the owners with the developer and then they can they can sell a unit to you and uh, we have two bedroom and three bedroom apartments and they're very good for for investment if you're investing you want to rent them out or just uh, furnish and do an airbnb guys these are the best place or you can even buy and uh, live there with your family so guys just uh, stay with us as you follow this channel i'm going to show you we will show you part two of this project part two of this project when the project is done and then we will also do part three of this kitsuru project uh, i'll call this video part one and then uh, we will do part two then part three part two will be the complete unit after doing the gypsum the paintworks and stuff part three will be furnishing the the unit so just stay with us we'll be furnishing them very soon and then i uh, will show you how it does so guys uh, as i was telling you this is uh, how we do it when you want to do a curve you just cut the st steel on both sides you use a uh, on both sides and then you just bend it it bends easily then you do a circle on the wall on the on the ceiling using a, a marker and then after you do a circle you just uh, put the the rail on the on the ceiling following your mark and then it will give you a perfect circle so that's how we do it guys this is our very 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 perfect framework that we've done here i uh, watch this video guys you will see that ceiling when it's done when it's complete we'll show you so don't forget to like the video uh, share and comment guys so uh as i told you before i'll be leaving for nyabuhanse just to go and finish up on the uh, marwas project and then uh, when i come back to the city i'll do for you more city tours i'll also do for you more uh, more projects that we have in the city we have uh, we have an, a project coming up guys very soon uh, another one that we will share with you very interesting very 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 interesting we are going to do amazing work there so as i told you these are just uh, small projects that we are doing here and uh, we have many 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 other projects that we are doing so just stay tuned on our channel uh, don't leave like share and you have not subscribed please uh, consider subscribing to our channel and uh, when you're watching the videos please uh, comment and also give us suggestions and also give us some advice out there if you have an advice if you think we are doing uh, something that is we should improve on please let us know the areas that you want us to improve and also on this presentation if there's anything that you want us to do that uh, you want us to improve on our presentation please uh, let us know uh, if there's any particular area that you want us to enlighten you and even advise you on how to do a certain thing matters construction matters decoration and matters interior design please feel free to 
get in touch. Uh, we'll give you consultation. We'll, we, we, will, we will also advise you. Thank you.